Reporting from the Radio.com newsroom in New York City, where we're shining a light on Kanye West's black skinhead video. I'm Eric Parker, and your Radio.com Rewind starts now. After making this video of his assault on paparazzi, West finally dropped the official clip for Black Skinhead. While the new version is only slightly different than the one that leaked only a few weeks ago, the official clip has an interactive component that fans didn't even know they wanted. For starters, it has a button in which you can control the speed of the video and another button that lets you take a screen grab. Yeezy alerted fans via Twitter on Sunday that the video would be coming at midnight. Black Skinhead stretches the limits of a CGI version of Kanye West who prances around the screen against a dark black round. But what does this video mean? What is Kanye trying to convey? Because we can't speak to Yeezus, we have director, video director, and VP of Play Gigit Broadway all day. Here to get some insight into this new video and the interactive nature of it. Thanks for checking in, Broadway. Glad to be here, Eric. So why does this video allow users to speed up the song or to take screen grabs? Is this something that video users actually wanted to do? Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's Kanye's kind of response to, you know, his issues with paparazzi and the timing of his, you know, his kind of recent run is interesting because he knows people are going to slow it down and freeze frame that and share it. So he's giving them a way to do that, you know, within the context of this video and really break down his visuals on his term with his, with his audience that he cares about the most. The right, his terms is key. His terms are key there. So you, exactly. direct, you directed Piggy Bank for 50 Cent many years ago, and that was uh, animated video, one of the early hip hop animated videos. Tell us how Kanye uses CGI today and how it's progressed. Uh, it's, 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 it's kind of similar. I mean, it was a, a while ago, but some of the similarities are, you know, some of the motion capture and performance capture techniques. Um, back when we did Piggy Bank, it took, uh, a capture device the size of a, of, a, of a big warehouse room to actually do those motions. Right. Now you can do that with a lot more off-the-shelf so, uh, software and hardware. So things have really progressed where, like, you know, people and guys with imagination can get together and it doesn't take a whole staff or right. team of people to really do and create these types of visions. You know, in, in fact, the, the really exciting thing is you're working on holograms for Rock the Bells, yeah. when it, for ODB and for, and for Easy e Tell us about that yeah. and how, how that works towards the future of hip hop and, and viewing. Uh, it's just, you know, it's amazing again for, uh, as an artist, which, you know, I look at it, um, I'm, I'm labeled as a director, but I know I'm an artist first because it's just the approach of using these tools to kind of shape a vision. So, you know, to, to, to me, just the ability and the availability of information and um, all these different people all over the world working on different software technologies that kind of all converge at these places where they matter the most. So. You know the legacy yeah. of a, a, an artist that passed. Their music can live forever. It will live forever, forever. No. And, and and we can watch them forever, <laughs> thanks to people like exactly. you. But that's all we have time for this week. Okay. Thanks a lot for checking in, Broadway. We really appreciate sure. it. And you can be sure to find out more music news and releases on news.radio.com. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page, of course, at youtube.com/radiodotcom. And that's all we have time for. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>